Yes, the drum roll. The orchestral drum roll. Oh good, it sounds like this again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We're back, baby. Welcome to No One Can Know About This, a podcast where we play every Final Fantasy. I'm Jeff Ekman. And I'm Ryan Kazmiski. And welcome to the first episode of a bonus season, season 6B, yeah, for I, all of you Patreon people. I, I put a lot of funk on that one for the for the Patreon Yeah, <laughs> for the people who are real fans. <laughs> for the true players, for the ride or die. Yeah, you get that kind of uh, twang on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is what you've been paying for. Yeah, yeah. So, shit, here we go. Last week, I guess, we finished the main season for you guys. Well, you guys finished. So let's just let's just settle in here, okay? Yeah, so yeah. the season ended for you guys last week. Mm -hmm. Ended quite a while ago for us. Yes. <laughs> um, well, no, actually. We finished editing it yesterday. Yeah, we finished editing it yesterday. But it's been out. That was like the final listen through of the final episode. Yeah, we've been making it for more than a year. Yeah. So we're like, okay, today's August 11th when we're recording this part of the voiceover mm -hmm. for this episode. Yeah, just to recenter you on where we are now, it's August 11th. I believe this is all fucked up. <laughs> we originally played Final Fantasy VIII last June, July. Uh -huh. That was what you heard in the whole main season. Mm -hmm. The recordings for this bonus season are done in two chunks. One, I believe, in February? <clears throat> Let me just see. This bonus season's base recordings were done in two chunks. Mm -hmm. One was in February of 2021, mm -hmm. and the other was in April of 2021. Okay. We're about to go on a long run of episodes from February of 2021, but right now in the voiceover, it's August 11th of 2021. We just finished editing the main season, which was back in June, July of 2020. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Is everybody following this? I am. Does any of it really matter? This is, I mean, I think it does. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta know where you are. Yeah, you gotta know where you are. They gotta be here with us. This is what it's like to be here with us. Well, part of that is to say we don't remember what the fuck happened in this I'm recording. really excited because I know that we go to get all the cards, basically. That's right. kind of like the main thing we have left to and do. And I remember it became a fucking debacle where when we set out on this adventure here, we were like, we'll get two or three episodes of a bonus season, or not of a bonus season, two or three episodes of bonus content. And then we wound up it's finding ourselves recording like 25 a, hours a of shit. Well, because <laughs> I it was like fun, and I was like, "This is gonna be great." Well, there's a lot of struggle. I remember. Uh, yeah, there is for sure. And a I lot don't, of frustration. That's just funny to me because I don't remember it. At, I when you said debacle, I was oh, like, God. "Whoa, man!" Because well, I think this is gonna come out to be. We don't know yet. Somewhere in the 12-ish episodes range, and that was not what we thought was going to happen. That's for sure. I was, I was like, I was like, what a happy accident. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's that's yeah. like my feeling yeah. on it. And you're like, oh my god. Yeah. So cast yourself back <laughs> to February of 2021 when we were m halfway through editing season six. At that point, you and I were editing like episode 20 or something of you know, season six. I'm just realizing, I think we've reached the point of just reality and existence where events happen too quickly for like dates to mean anything. That's, anymore. that's so cast the thing. yourself back. What the hell would that mean? <clears throat> Here you are now in February 2021. I know that <laughs> when we recorded this, we had like analyzed half of the game, you know? Yeah. So we were like pissed off at it for being for, we had like done the orphanage episode or whatever and then we were like let's go clean up the extra shit man i'm yeah i'm excited to go over this yeah this is going to be a ball so thank you all so much for supporting us mm -hmm. this one's for you where are we starting like what's the setup here we should oh yeah that's a good question um we had that save file that we left before going to disc three where we had like all of the cards left to get right. and we wanted to do the card club quest and then do mm -hmm, Omega mm -hmm, Weapon. Mm -hmm. You know, I, we might edit this out, but let's try something a little different here. Instead of watching ahead and setting everyone up, 
Let's just discover it with them. Let's do it. I don't know exactly what we do first. Here we go. <laughs> and we're gonna get every card. We're gonna get every card. That's the idea. All right. It's been a long time since we've played. And this is our first uh, foray back into it. Yeah, we left ourselves a save file that was like at the end of disc three mm -hmm. that we're hoping will allow us to take on the card club quest. Man, we're so good at this now, we didn't even have to record that intro. <laughs> like, there it is. <laughs> so simple. We now have what we never had before, which is a player's guide mm -hmm. to explain some of this to us. And we'll have to work out a methodology for how we want to do this, because there's the card club quest, mm -hmm. but then there's also just, like, cardifying monsters that we don't have as well. Right. <laughs> to get all the ones that yeah, we... Yeah, to get all That are not the quest. Well, I think number one is let's get the quest done and then see how we feel about it. About it. You don't want to start or by should we carding? start by getting everything in the bestiary? That's what I don't know. I kind of think maybe we should Well, there's look. stuff in here, like, how are we supposed to get the card for, like, BGH 25-1-F-2, which is that tank thing? The boss? Yeah, the boss. If there's a card of it, then it'll be like somebody has this card. You know, like a specific... It's not like you card... Right. I can't remember, but I don't think we really had to, like, card a bunch of monsters. Like, I, I think we ended up winning most things just by playing so, so much cards. I'm realizing towards the end when we did go to cleanup, we should have done that. Because sometimes we were like, they're not playing that fucking card. And <laughs> we should have tried to go <laughs> find the monster. Sometimes. I guess, like, no, no, actually, I'm thinking like, about, those were like we Ultima can, weapon. Yeah, we can't yeah, just go never find mind. the monster for those. No, yeah. Well, it sounds much more appealing to me to start the card club quest than it does to, like, just randomly find every monster and get cards of them all the time. Oh, I was thinking we go into our card inventory and see what we don't see have. See what we're missing. That one we don't have. Well, let's, yeah, all right, let's have. start, start by doing, <laughs> you know what I mean? Let's, let's start by checking out yeah. what we got. We're playing on a whole new system called the PlayStation 5, and I think the save file converted over correctly. It should have. Well, if it didn't, then this whole thing is, we're going to have to just think of a different <laughs> or plug my PS4 back oh, in. That too, that too. Uh oh. Oh yeah, there was no save data loaded, and I was like, "Shit! All right, hang on." <coughs> Damn it! <laughs> hang on. <laughs> So I had to get the save data uploaded to the internet from my PS4 and then downloaded to my PS5. Haley, I sit on you. Oh, right, because I, uh, I had to set this back to factory new for reasons that it turned out I didn't have to do that, but I forgot that a lot of the data did not come over. rice aroni It's been up there since the beginning of the pandemic. Never had to make it. But you're like, the shit really hits the fan. I've got that I've rice got the, I've got the roni. <laughs> I've got that one box of rice aroni. While I was looking through the data of my old games to transfer over, I saw that, like, oh yeah, I owned PT, the playable mm -hmm. trailer thing, on my PS4, and they won't let me bring the save data over because I'm not allowed to bring that game over to play on my PS5. Which is bullshit. Give me PT! Give me the PT, cowards. That's what they were chanting before the master started. <laughs> you, of course, were referring to the viral sensation playable trailer. Yes, I and was. And then I thought of Paul Thomas Anderson. <laughs> Everybody wants the PT. <laughs> Auteur extraordinaire. Uh, the screening started late. With the arc light and that guy came out. He's like, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be here to make sure that your screen going movie. experience is great. Some dude threw a brick at him and they started it. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's funny to me that we both separately saw the 70 millimeter uh -huh. print of that because it, it was in the dome, right? Uh huh. Man, I miss going I to the think. arc light and having... I can't remember exactly. I saw it in the arc light for sure. Uh, I think it was in the I dome. I miss the but... arc light people coming out and explaining to you that like... That you're about to watch a movie. Yeah, exactly. And that it's 170 minutes long or whatever. Here's how long it is. Here's some information that you're going to find out in the credits. And then 
Uh, I'll I like be if here you're not having sure... a good time. My name is Josh. Yeah, I'm gonna make sure that the screen quality and sound is correct because the people who come here make movies. At the arc light, uh, <laughs> so which theater is here in LA. Hypothetically, like the nicest theater. I've never really found it to be that. But when you go there, a guy comes out to tell you like everything's gonna be fine and you're about to watch a movie. <laughs> yeah, and like how best. long it's gonna take. <laughs> And then every time they're explaining that to me now, I'm looking around going, like, they need to just close this place for a year and redo everything. I mean, <laughs> I don't know that because here's the thing. This was all before they went out of business, right? Oh, yeah, they're gone <laughs> yeah, they're now. Gone now. Well, That's I mean, uh, I was never stoked to go to the arc light. were you? A little, yeah. Like, you gotta park in that... I'm Garage. sure I'm going to say this in the fucking recordings, but, like, coming from New Hampshire, like, going to a theater where, like, all the sodas were, had the lights on, you know? Yeah. Like, it wasn't like, the, like, half the shit was broken. It was well, like, it worked. Let me tell you, coming from Plano, Texas, uh -huh. which is like, uh, uh, you know. They just have they space just have to build. Of movie theaters. Movie theaters. And we had recliners well before. Yeah, we didn't have I, that you know. until, like, I was gone. And so then time. I'm going to the arc light, and I'm like, these chairs don't even go back. <laughs> <laughs> I remember being floored by like when I first started going to the art light and I was like and all of the sodas are like populated with the sodas and instead of like being like three of these are out or like that oh, no, that soda is actually lemonade or whatever and it was like all of the lights work. No, at the arc light, you don't get your own soda even though. You have to go get it from the guy behind the... You definitely did. I have memories of specifically doing it, at least when I first moved to LA. I haven't been to any theater in like two years, but yes, they were they were on it. At the arc light, well, yeah, I mean, this, this, I mean, I'm assuming the soda machine always worked. How would we know if it didn't? They have a guy. Go to the Regal Cinemas in Hooksit, New Hampshire and see how many of the sodas are I, yeah, I, you're right. The arc light was <laughs> was definitely not a shitty theater. And then I remember at one point I went like back to like New Hampshire and my brother and I saw a movie and he was so pissed up. <laughs> <coughs> like the image was like off center on the screen, oh. like by like a, a bit. Yeah. See, and like nobody a... was going to say, and he was like, I got to go talk to like the projectionist. Just to be clear, while we're talking about this, we're watching a progress bar transfer the data over m to my PS5. Yeah, yeah. And it was like at like a Regal Cinemas in New Hampshire. In Plano, you go to a new movie theater every single year because they build a new huge <laughs> cineplex at the newest mall every year. And so it's always like, like I remember coming to LA and being like, the theaters here suck shit. Oh, this is I have crazy. the opposite experience. Like, this is wild that the suburbs are so much better. And yeah, whenever I go I've to the arc light, I'm like, this is fine. But at that AMC in the mall, you get a recliner. And, yeah, well, and that's like... the thing. I heard all that shit started happening in my hometown, like, right when I that's went That's how it was in Plano when, I, it, when I was growing up. It was not like that when I was growing up. Like, it was like a regular ass movie theater <coughs> where like people who were too tall would the, sit in front of you. The recliners came a year or two after I left but we already had like the stadium seating like the only thing to do in Plano is see movies so and everyone there has money so the movie theaters like I think I've told you whenever they build a new development first they build a giant mall and each time they do it it's always like they build a mall and then there's a shopping center around it and that alone is like the size of a city. Like there's like this it, and I, then they built the houses out from there. And so, like, every time they do that, the movie theater in that mall that's the new center of the new suburb becomes, like, the movie theater everybody goes to. That's and so exciting. And the old exciting. one is, like, the old crappy movie theater now. That's exciting. <laughs> what happened with me was, like, I was going to the same movie theater that was, you know, every year growing up that was in the mall. One year, I remember, I was like, oh my god, they've retrofitted this theater with surround sound. And that was a revelation. Yeah, wow, yeah, that sucks. So when I came here, I was like, they're even keeping the soda stocked. The popcorn's all fresh. Whoa, the Lost Vikings! What is that? Oh, it's a Blizzard game. Classic Blizzard games. Got it. These three Vikings. So our game finished loading the save files mm -hmm. in, and the PlayStation <laughs> popped up with an ad for The Lost Vikings. You guys remember that game? I didn't. Nobody remembers that game. I bring it up all the time, and nobody <laughs> ever knows what I'm talking about. Man, 
Speaking of classic Blizzard games, when am I gonna get to play Warcraft 2? Like, let me play Warcraft 2. I played it a ton as a kid. Probably could play it right now on your Mac. You think? Yeah, I do. (laughs) Maybe I'll do that. (laughs) I think you probably could, yeah? Uh, Or three, even. All right, back on track. We've got the data, as we should. (laughs) So we've got all the old save data, and we're ready to start Final Fantasy VIII Extra. Duh. I squall. I hug (laughs) Renoa. What do you think the GS do to your life expectancy? They don't extend it. What if they do, you just can't remember anything? (laughs) Hurts. Like if having Alzheimer's also meant that you never would die. Mm-hmm. So we've got everything loaded up and ready, and we're looking at the save games that we had left for ourselves. Oh, sorry, Haley. So here we have... This is way earlier on disc three, mm-hmm. which is intended for the Kart Club quest. Do we need it, though? I thought we could do it all from disc four. We don't realize this yet. But you can't do it from disc four from our save file because we hadn't completed the card club quest in the first place. Mm -hmm. The card club members won't be on the Ragnarok if you go find it. Mm -hmm. But we're going to try that anyway because we'd heard that you can do stuff from disc four. Yeah, if if you had done the card club quest, you can win every card you don't have from these guys. But if you didn't, you can't. And we hadn't. Well, I think this was supposed to be for, for the card club quest. Because we're in Ultimecia's castle. Right, there's portals, though, that you can go back through to go to the world. But I thought this was why we had the save. Because we didn't know if there was a way to do it. And then we were reading, <coughs> oh, there's a way to go back and do this card thing. That when you go back through the polar portals from Ultimecia's castle, it'll spit you out in the world. And you gotta walk to wherever you landed the Ragnarok last. Because you're at a different time. And find it and all of the card club people will be on the Ragnarok. This is the treachery of incomplete information. It's like, I I know this thing, but uh, it doesn't really relate to what we need to do, and it's going to lead us astray. Load the other save real quick. Let's see what it's like if we go... I feel like it's like at the last save point in the... No, I know where it is. I want to see what it's like when we go through the portals out onto the world map. So we load the save file from... Disc 4. Yeah. At the the castle. The one at the front of the castle. Mm Mm-hmm. Like, run backwards from here. <laughs> this giant chain. <laughs> Dude, look at the way it moves. Oh, yeah, wow. like, we can go so in which these. which one should I go in? I don't know, just go in one. On our way up to Ultimecia's castle initially, we had passed these three giant portals mm-hmm. that you can jump off of the chain into them. Mm-hmm. Okay. Whee! Now I'm here. And it spits you out, like, somewhere on, like, the Centra crater. Yeah. Somewhere in the world map. <laughs> that spit me out right here. Oh, wait. Oh, hold on. I'm reading about it. You, you might be right. We might have to go back to disc three. That was what I thought, but... Reading this, it makes it sound like I was mistaken that if you had completed the card club quest, then all of them... Yeah, there's the Ragnarok. Is it right there? <laughs> yeah. I don't think I can get there from here. No, not from here. Uh, (laughs) Try door number three. Yeah. So we jump through the third portal and find ourselves somewhere on the edge of Granditi Forest. Yeah, I'm not sure why there's three portals here, because, like, two of them won't lead you anywhere that helps you in any way. (laughs) Um... (laughs) (laughs) Try door number one. Yeah, I'm not making it over here. But, okay, remember this forest, though? I think this is the forest. <coughs> oh, yeah. yeah. This is forest. This is like a shortcut to get to like high level grinding stuff. Good to know, I guess. That area also has a chocobo forest. Like, yeah. That portal was the right one to go through. You're going to have to go get the chocobo and then ride that to the Ragnarok. Yeah, you got to like find your way across hidden ocean paths back to land. This That's music is so upbeat. To be at the very... <laughs> yeah. So I try portal number one, and it spits me out in the wrong place, and I'm just like, forget it. Yeah. Where am I now? So I guess we just can't get the Ragnarok. I just, we, can't, we just can't go get it. Yeah, so, so okay. whatever. In that case. <laughs> Fuck, that sucks. Well, that's why we had the two safe files. I know, I know, but it just, like, for, for the Omega weapon... Yeah. 
it sucks that we can't go get the Ragnarok. Oh. Oh, to get to, like, Cactar Island. Yeah. Unless one of those took us to Cactar Island. No. Or close enough. You hmm. can't walk to Cactar Island. None of this is going to wind up mattering because we're going to go back to our disc three save and take that all the way through to the end. Yeah, I mean, we're not cutting this. We should have, but we're not. <laughs> <laughs> um. So here we are. We've loaded the save file from disc three. We're before the lunatic Pandora thing and we're all on the Ragnarok. And I had read that all the people in our party actually play cards too, which didn't occur to us yeah, during the original place or something we somehow like completely overlooked so you all play cards it turns out <laughs> wait i pressed the square to these people try quistus quisty um so I'm walking around the Ragnarok, mm -hmm. like, pressing square, but none of them will play cards with me. Yeah, and also, that since we've read that the whole game, we were like, where's this card club? I yeah. wonder who would be in the card club. And it's like, oh, duh. It's yeah. like main people <laughs> and stuff. But they also said they would come challenge us, which is well, something that's, that we... that's a lie. Well, that's a straight up lie. Not a... Well, yeah, they don't, it, they don't no. challenge you, but you have to do... You'll see. You'll all see. We figure it out. Let me read more about this card club quest. Yeah. Here's Laguna. I can play Laguna. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think we played him. We've got Squall. I think we got Squall from Laguna. Like, he had the little Squall oh, card. We, damn it. That's how you know that Squall is his son. Why Shut else would he have the card? the fuck up. Everyone, else, everyone has this card of their child in their wallet, Jeff. Uh -huh. Here it is, the first triple triad game of this bonus season. Yeah, we're trying to... Uh, who are we playing here? We're playing Laguna because we've read that he has the Squall card, but we already got the Squall card back in the original playthrough. <laughs> so there's no reason for this game. But, oh my god, I wonder how many triple triad games we play over the course of this bonus season. Thousands? No. Hundreds? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. I mean, a lot. Definitely. <laughs> no, I think at least hundreds. I mean, a hundred is a lot. This took us 25 hours. Yeah, but how much of that is like... Running around Delling City? A lot. But mm -hmm. I'm telling you, I think we crack hundreds. I'm certain of it. Hundreds? Like, like Mo more than 200? Definitely in the three digits. Potentially more than 200. I think like over a hundred... Not close to 200. I think like less than 100. I'm saying over 200. Somebody out there, do the math. I think between 100 and 150. Maybe. And know that I cut out a lot of them. <laughs> I just think, like, sitting here thinking about... I guess, does it count as playing a game if you reset the game in the middle as soon as they show that they don't have the right card or something? No. Definitely not. Then maybe we didn't do. That's what I'm saying. 200. Like actually played games. Like no, there's no way we got even close to to 200. But I do think we cracked 100 of fully played games. Probably. <laughs> that seems reasonable to me, all right, right? All right. But like, that's man, where we'll like 200. Estimate it. Like that would take. Like they, how long do they take to play? Like a minute, maybe two. A couple like, minutes, probably. And we did 25 hours of this shit. Uh, we'll never know. There's no way to know. <laughs> Ouch. Ouchie. Oh, shit. Ouch. Ouch. Balls! Balls. Well, Laguna is quite a card player. You well, just got your ass beat. Let's, uh... <laughs> Here's the thing. That was a frivolous game of cards, and it's like, when you lose a cards in this, you gotta reset, because they're gonna take your best cards. Yeah, so, I reset. Da, 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 da. Alright, let's drive this to, uh... Balam. Where Bal is Balam? I believe it's docked at Fisherman's. Okay. There you oh. are. So you could just land here? Yeah. Oh yeah. I remember now. Back to school, everyone. So yeah, the card club quest all has to take place on the school. One or thing at least I the start of it. Well, yeah, but one, well, I mean, almost all of it is here, right? It's like there's... Yeah, the, of the, like, the base... God, I... The Queen of Cards looms so she large has nothing in my to mind. Do with this. We I don't know. go anywhere in the world. The yeah, card okay. club is all here it's at all the here school. All here at Balam. Which it's funny. Like whenever you come back here, it's as though this whole world just repopulates. <laughs> like everyone stops doing the new thing, which is not going to school. That's for sure. <laughs> 
<laughs> and then they all just are back in their dorms and yeah. playing cards. They're like in the cafeteria. W- the yeah, whatever. <laughs> so what should I do? So yeah, go down to the first floor. We're in school. Go by the uh, information board. We're looking for a guy named Jack that you have to play in cards. I'm gonna fight him in cards. They have to fight in cards. Are you Jack? I don't think that that's him. This isn't Jack. We're gonna read this in a minute, but Jack's not here. Yeah, this explains how we never initiated this quest, mm-hmm. because, like, he's not always here. No, you have to, like, play 15 games with that one kid, remember? And then he'll show up, and then you, you ta- can wait, challenge no, him. I don't remember. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's a, there's a reason that we somehow didn't start this. I've forgotten what it is. But here we go. Are you Jack? Jagged just says, Jack is located in the front entrance way of Balam Garden. Oh, I'll keep waiting for Jack. Jagged really must have hated FF8 because they blew it on us. The guide is so half-assed. There's like nothing about Omega Weapon. Yeah. They don't tell you how to make Jack be here. I just hope I don't wind once up you waiting have... so long that I'm waiting for Goodell. It says once you've completed 15 card games, you'll be able to find and challenge... Well, Jack. I've certainly done that. We have, right? Without a... Like, n- yeah. And we're sure the kid's not Jack. Yeah, he would say, I'm Jack. These two ladies are saying good work. I guess I should leave and come back? Try that. Are you Jack? Oh, you need to win 15 Triple Triad games in Balam Garden. Games played in the library, cafeteria, or second floor classroom do not count. What? Excuse? You need to complete games here. <laughs> games completed in half of here don't count. Like, we, that's Come probably on. where we played most of the games. I imagine it was. Like, the other NPCs, when you're not in those locations, don't even look like you should talk to them. You like, have to they're... win 15 <laughs> games here. What an absurd thing. And in some parts of the building, it doesn't count. So we walk up to Zell, who is standing in an area that qualifies t- for, for games. Punchy Zell. What SR's rules? Whatever, let's just use that rule too. I'm afraid. What are SR's rules? I don't know. I mean, we we brought Oh no god. Dude, like, that's the other thing, is... Yeah, we're dealing with random here. Mm-hmm. Fuck that. Well, did we just bring it with us? Because he's like, it's you want to play with S-Star's rules? It, and you're did like, we already S-Star's infect rules? them, or it, was that just uh, something else I that also happened? I think they've been infected the whole game. That's I don't what think I we thinking. ever got rid of random here. On the docket also is trying to get rid of rules. Is random here? Yeah. We brought it here, remember? Don't you remember? Yeah, and we like can't get rid of it. Yeah, well we haven't really tried that much. But SR's rules are not do not include random. It's just that Balam School already has them. I have no idea. So I can't remember the order of how we do things, but I imagine mm-hmm. we're gonna start getting rid of random next. So that we can begin the card club quest. We might not. <laughs> we might just, like, force our way through winning 15 games with random? Maybe. You, you Look, don't it, know either. It's been a really long time since I've gone over this, done the once-over after we did it. I think... That was months ago. From what I remember, we quickly figure out how to get rid of random. I hope you're right, because I know we spend well, I mean, hours like quickly, trying I mean, to get rid like, of it in other places. Like, I don't remember how much time we spent trying to get rid of it here in Balam. I know that we spend most of this season, this bonus season, I mean, we're gonna have to getting rid of it in other places. Before we can even start this. Exactly. I think we brought random to Estar also. I think you might be right. <laughs> Should I play this? If you want to. We might need to get rid of random first. Siri, the same rule was abolished. What? Should I restart? Hey Siri. Wait. How do I get rid of- I'm gonna save before I do anything on Balam Garden. Mm-hmm. Is that okay? Yeah. I'll do it in a new slot. Just you can do it in this slot. I'll do it in a new slot. Okay. Whatever you want to do. Siri. How do I abolish the random rule in Balam? Okay, I found this on the web for how do I abolish the random rule in Balam. Check it out. British bitch. She's Australian. You racist. (laughs) What does she have for you? If the region doesn't have open, go and play a game in a region that has it. Like Balam. Now go to the region where you want to abolish the rule and save the game near a playable person. 
If you try to play with that person, he, she will ask you to mix rules. Select yes, and in the triple triad screen, select quit. Several things might happen in no specific order. Open rule is spread, random rule is abolished, same rule is abolished, plus rule is abolished, nothing. But isn't there something about like open will always spread before random does something? Look man, here, you can read this too. I don't know how, I don't like have, yeah, I don't no, I'm just trying to remember all the bullshit. <laughs> this is a vital first step because we have so thoroughly fucked the world with random yeah. that like, I can't remember, I think there might be like one place that doesn't have it or something. Like, I we think got in rid the of main in season we get rid of it using a special trick, but, but we've somehow forgotten we've it by forgotten now. that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we're looking up like how to do it naturally using the game systems. Well, I... I think I can't remember, but I can't remember. <laughs> I think we should go to Bal in the town. Yeah, and that's what I'm talking to that fisherman guy or whatever to get his rules. Yes, and then come back here and save, and then play someone and see if we can just do that's this again I, and again that's and what again I was thinking. We're gonna until like, random is gone. I think that's what we were just failing at doing. In yeah. The uh, That's not- I think we just take some determination, just like if we just do this until it happens. Look at how happy and comfortable and sleepy she is. I know. And she has a blanket of herself. I know. To be wrapped in. It's pretty great. Oh, <laughs> she's very happy about it. It's a nice soft blanket, it's too it small. Yeah, you got blankets that match Haley and the other dogs. Uh -huh. You and Katrina should get blankets of yourselves. <laughs> To wrap yourselves in. God, she would totally get that right now if she heard that idea. She would make that happen immediately. I'm gonna make a. I'm know. gonna take like a, fo a candid photo of you from like across the street, like a bad picture, <laughs> like blow it and up, and then have that yeah, <laughs> like really pixelated and shitty on the. <laughs> like you're blanket. like looking sideways. Yeah. <laughs> like walking. <laughs> like a photo a PI would take. Yeah. And you're just like huge. Yeah, and then but you then I sleep under it. In. Yeah. For human. But well, what I do with blankets like these is I just put them uh, over my feet. Mm -hmm. And they look nice. In between other blankets. Like, you use it as though you're building a sleeping bag out of your blankets. Mm -hmm. It's just another layer in the side. Anyway, we remember all of a sudden that we're playing the remaster and you can turn off random encounters and shit like that. Mm -hmm. <gasps> I just turned on 3x. Oh, yeah. Fuck our, our, uh, our rules. Yeah, we can yeah, run dude. fast. Oh my god, look at how fast we're we running. We can run at 3x. Oh my god. Turn on even... max damage. Do all that shit. Even though we're going to have encounters off. Well, we'll have to have encounters on for when we card people. It's all on. <laughs> it's all on. It's on, bitches. Look at our health. No bars are going to be whole. Oh, this is how we should beat Omega Weapon. You don't want to hold any bars. Don't hold the bars. Yeah, this is how we're gonna beat Omega Weapon. <laughs> yeah, pay for Patreon to hear us cheat at Omega Weapon. <laughs> oh my god, I'm blowing around this school, dude. I'm just flying. Okay, let's go check on Nord. Okay. Oh yeah, while we're running around the world, we're like, oh, we should go check like in the basement and see what n happened to Norg. Yeah, and his cocoon has like cracked open and there's some shoomy attendants walking around. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the egg is cracked and these two guys are like, pleased to meet you, I'm a traveler from Shumi Village. Norg was one of us. We came to apologize on behalf of our village for Norg's action. I see that humans do not transform when their hearts become corrupt. Our appearances change according to what's in our hearts. Wait. So what did Norg become, you cock teases? Yeah. What? Because also... It would have been better to not put them in here at all than to give us all this information about how Norg has evolved into something else and then not let us see what that is. Perhaps we are <laughs> not meant to leave our village. Look what happened to Norg. What happened to him? Yeah, because, like... Did he evolve into this? Does he mean when the heart goes bad, you become an elder? And well, then they were like... When you're good, you become a Moomba? Most people become Moombas, you know. But, like, I, I assume that since his heart was bad, he would have evolved into something gross, you know? But we don't know what that is. How hard would it have been for them to stick a Moomba in here and have the Shumi just saying, like, he was corrupt in life, but it looked like he found peace in his new form? That would be totally fine. You know, like, just anything that doesn't suck. Anyway, the, re <laughs> the rest of this doesn't suck. We just play cards and we get all this stuff. No, like, we, we're about to go find the 
the terminal and oh, do a yeah, bunch of fun stuff. Mind. This episode and the next episode up. are full the of good terminal. shit. I do remember the terminal. <laughs> Man, quit teasing my cock. <laughs> like, are we gonna have to go to uh, the lighthouse area with the orphanage to fight Sid and Adia in cards? Uh, I don't know. Balum is over here? Yeah, it's on this little island. How much we're cruising at three speed. <laughs> That's not it. Yeah, it is. That's, that's Balum? Yep. That's it right there. Well, okay. So the first step we know is mm -hmm. definitely to go pick up some simple rules. That From just, the town of Balam. Yeah. Base rules, get those in our pocket. There's a fisherman here who's just reliable and always has open and like one right. other thing. This is the guy, right? I think so. Unfortunately, we actually are talking to the wrong guy right now. Mm -hmm. Which is something that you probably remember happened not that long ago last season. <laughs> but for us... <laughs> Yeah, play, play him. Bang. Hell yeah. Yeah. We don't have one of these, apparently. So... Yay? I guess? Now we go back and try to change the rules? So we think we've got the right rules in our pocket. We might. It's possible. I am not, yeah. But on our way out, there's like a woman with a dog that I don't think we ever talked to. Mm-hmm. Her dog used to be with the army. <laughs> they released him because he has a terrible sense of smell. No, he doesn't. That what? It's the opposite. Man, that's actually a neat touch. That like <laughs> this is the dog that was like leading us around. That was like smelling for Raijin and Fujin. Yeah, there was like a quest involving the dog smell. Yeah. But she said that the dog has a bad sense of smell. Because it, it like, uh, fucked them over, probably. They got mad, and they were like, you stupid mutt. <laughs> like, they didn't find a loan. Yeah. I don't know. They, they... Next to her, there's a student from Balham Garden who's sitting there going like, whoa, the school went away. Yeah, this is truly awesome, because we had wondered if this happened to somebody. I got nowhere to go. I went back. <laughs> I was wondering about was this. Gone. I guess that's what I get for ditching too many times, eh? Oh, well. well could you imagine being like, I did school, and, and I came the back. And school was gone. And it was gone. And you're like, and now I, and I guess started a new life I here like, in town. I guess that's what I get. <laughs> and you live, all, you're on this fucking island, like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, not only are you ditching school, the school almost hit hits the town you're yeah. ditching in. Uh, you watch it sail away. Like, I imagine you ditched school and was like, dropped acid or took lessons. Yeah, he's and like, it was like, the high school shit. is coming after me. <laughs> They're coming to get me. I wasn't supposed to borrow the car. Uh, so now I, ch I go in, in the school. Yeah, um, save somewhere. Some selfie won't play with me. No, you have to, you have to play somebody else. Okay, three X's being turned off for a second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're running around at three X speed, but there's like some places that you have to get in the right spot for it. Uh, yeah, if you ever need frenetics, <laughs> turn it off. <laughs> she is dead asleep. Yeah, she is. The walk alone on Sunday night was enough to put her out, but mm. then yesterday. Oh my god. So now, random people? We, we should save somewhere, cause right, like, right, right, right. we gotta like, place someone and then quit, and then see if the rule, whatever, changes, mm. and then... So we're gonna say yes and then quit. Yeah. So what we're doing right now is we have, we hope, basic rules in our pocket. That don't include random. That don't include random, and that when we play somebody in the garden, they will ask us to mix rules, and then after the game, something will happen. One of the rules might get abolished, another rule might get added to the region, something like that. Or nothing can happen. Or nothing can happen. But you can just, like, quit the game right after mixing rules and mm -hmm. see what the outcome is. So we're gonna do that, see what the outcome is, and then reset and try again until, until we... we get random abolished. Mm -hmm. Also, I want to say I was right back there, uh, my prediction about what we do first. We try to get rid of random <laughs> <laughs> yep, we it's a it's a must. So the same so then I think we quit and try again. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. See if quit and try again. happens yeah, yeah. since the same wall mm -hmm. spread through the region instead of the random rule being abolished. Yeah, I think we just try that again and again. Feeling good about this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
So we try again, but the same wall rule spreads throughout the region. Mm-hmm. Okay. If the only one that happens is the same wall over and over Then again. we'll have to think of some other way to do this, some mm -hmm. other alteration. Wait, FH's Why do we have rules? FH's rules? Shouldn't we have Balum's rules? We should, we're, yeah, I thought. Did we play the wrong person in Maybe. Balum? Maybe. Yep. We played the wrong person, which I, I'm pretty sure we, we've definitely had to find this person at least once before, <laughs> and we've we've now forgotten who it is. Let's look up that the plus rule has spread throughout the region this time. Okay, well. I'm gonna keep trying this for- Keep trying it. A while. Man, those three ladies who were giggling were only there at once. The same wall rule has spread. Mm -hmm. Why do we have FH's rules? Well, we specifically just went to Balum. Mm hmm. Um. Okay. Mm -hmm. Same wall again. Same wall. It seems to be the preferred one. Yeah. So here you might hear a little flurry of sound effects of like a load, an attempt at a game. A quit of that game. Same wall doesn't spread. <laughs> it spreads. <laughs> Man. And then we reload again. <laughs> this reminds me, this might be off the reservation, but I saw an article on Polygon recently that was like, save scumming, like, reviled mechanic or beloved strategy. Ugh. And I just felt so out of touch. I was like, maybe I'm old because it was like the only way, it's the only way you can do this. Yeah. Well, I hate it. <laughs> I do too. I think it sucks, but it's like a necessity. It's not, it's neither of those things. <laughs> You're asking the wrong question. This is the world we breathe. Why do we need to save scum is the question. The plus rule has spread. The same rule was abolished. Well, so we're getting different stuff. Different stuff is happening. It, uh, All it takes is for one time the uh -huh. right thing to happen. I know. This is... this, this sucks. I wish there was a way that wasn't so stupid. <laughs> Same wall rule has spread throughout the region. We should start thinking about lunch. We should. I'm hungry now that you say that. It's funny how that works. You say that, and then I am hungry. Well, I think, you know, we both have the same breakfast. <laughs> no, Jeff, I think there's something more to it than that. <laughs> I've been going I think on. there's something... The same rule was abolished. Here, let me try it. You think you got the touch? <sighs> it's easy to do. <laughs> so... How come I'm not fast? Every time you load it, you gotta engage it. Shit. God damn it. Uh, on this day two years ago, my phone is telling me that um, there was no turning back. I had chosen on in Persona 5. <laughs> <laughs> do you still stand by that decision, or do you wish you had ended up with someone else? On that playthrough, absolutely. Yeah? Yeah, that guy, w Mr. Poopy Farts, was in love with on. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> We're just grinding it out. Just gotta grind out that that random rule. I think I make this point in the season, but like, in order to abolish random, it's gonna be random. <laughs> plus, plus rule has spread. Keep spreading, spreading the plus rule. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, he might be. I might have played the wrong guy. Okay. <laughs> Do you think in the new Space Jam they talk about the old Space Jam? <laughs> we didn't watch it. We're we're doing we're doing this where we record some nonsense. Well, I'm holding to this mix with the oh the this, Happy Meal that this Katrina Happy got. Happy Meal toy. Yeah, <laughs> it's Daffy Duck and he shoots a basketball off of his feet. Yeah, he does. <laughs> and there's no way to like put it down where it stands up. But do you think in the new Space Jam? <laughs> yes, I do. You do? Yes. You think they're like, last time Michael Jordan was here. Yeah, I gotta think that they acknowledge. And we had a blast It's a with new legacy, guy. Ryan. It's not Space Jam rebooted. Well, I mean, a Space new legacy Jam could mean anything. Reloaded. Never mind.
mind. I'm sorry. And he might, like, not be there every time we go there or something. Yeah, we got the same wall again. They talk about the old Tron and the new Tron in that other Yeah, but that that's, like, why it sucks, you know? Like, maybe they would have learned their lesson <laughs> no, and been, like, nobody they had, like, a CG shit that Jeff young Bridges. Jeff Bridges. They spent the money for in that. a computer. It, yeah. And then the computer... Uh, and I then mean, his son found an arcade in the basement or something look, like that. Look, I right? mean, and you're gonna hire Daft Punk and, like, none of the tracks even have a beat? I don't know, man. I didn't like it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I played the wrong guy. Okay. Back to Balan. He's not gonna be at the further end screen. He's gonna be <laughs> on the main screen of the dogs. Mm. So I've read exactly who is the guy in the town of Balam who mm -hmm, we need to play, mm -hmm. and he literally wasn't on the screen last time we were there. Yeah. He's only sometimes there. They fucking love to do that in this game more than any other one, I think, that some people, like, appear and disappear all the time. But hold on. They're making another Tron, right? Are they? I thought so. I haven't heard about that. And if so, it's, it's... is it, like, about the last guy from the last one is in the <laughs> arcade machine now? <laughs> Um, nothing about a neutron. I'm not in the right part of the internet. Oh, there was an animated series called Tron Uprising. Nah, never mind. We'll cut this. <laughs> no, we won't. <sighs> uh, yeah, that makes it worth it. Yeah, Daft Punk did the score for Legacy. Yeah, I know, and everyone, I always hear people, like, praise it, and I, I just, like, found it so thoroughly disappointing. I don't know why. It's like... Oh, sorry, I'm playing with this Daffy Duck toy. <laughs> I mean, go listen to fucking their live album from 2007 and then tell me that the Tron Legacy soundtrack is, like, up to snuff. It's mm -hmm. not. It's like, you know, I was so stoked for that movie, and then I went to it, and it was like Jeff Bridges mumbling about computers. Oh, shit. In 2020, it was announced that a sequel to Tron Legacy That's was what in I development. Thought. That's what I thought. Yeah. And I heard that, and I was just like, I mean... Why? But, like... You know, I mean, whatever, it doesn't bother me, I guess, but, uh, <laughs> just talk shit about Tron Legacy. <laughs> this is a podcast about that. <laughs> I don't care How did about we get that Tron far Legacy. Off, off topic? Well, I was asking if you thought in the new Space Jam they referenced the old Space Jam, and you brought right. up Tron. No, As though that's I? the same thing. You were like, well, in the new Tron, they talk about the old Tron. Oh, yeah. As though Tron right. is a basketball game, an interdimensional one. I guess it's kind of like that. If he's present, he'll be over on the left near the water and crouch down. Oh, I remember. <laughs> yeah, it's the guy who sa it says his normal conversation is about, on disc one, how he's cutting class, or on discs two or three, how the garden flew off without him while he was cutting class. So we're gonna find this fisherman in Balam and get his rules. Mm-hmm. We we still haven't done one fucking thing. We're off to a riveting start of the bonus season. <laughs> Things Ooh. are gonna move at this pace, but um, Bob, we're just gonna enjoy ourselves. Like I'm just gonna just gonna lay back in the cut. Yeah, he's not there right now, but leave and come back. Farts. I'm gonna leave Balam. Yeah, which NPCs are present in town and which or, uh, of their various potential locations is determined when you enter town. There, there you are. We found him, and this is legitimately the right guy. Uh, uh, yeah, he has one rule. It's, he it's he has no rules. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> his trade rule is one. Yeah, he only has a trade rule, and, and it's his the easiest rules are just, it just rules colon nothing there. Wow, look at how few rules there are. Mm -hmm. do, 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 do. You know what, I heard us ordering Helen Rays the other, in the audio. Mm -hmm. You want Helen Rays? Yeah. I'm gonna order some Helen. Um, get me the Miles. Sure. This guy doesn't have what it takes. No. He didn't have a shot. So you kick the fisherman's ass and head back to Balam Garden, hoping that you've got the simple rules. Mm -hmm. now. Oh, and fries are back. Fries are back at Hall and Ray's. But they seem to be something called Mario Fries, which I think includes cheddar, slaw, pickles, and comeback sauce. Mario Fries. That sounds really good. Oh, now the only rule we have is this. In Balm School? Yeah. Well, well, we did it then. We did it. 
Fucking hooray. Yeah, I, I remember now. Just like this, we kind of like get it. And then we go everywhere and we're like, fuck you, random. We're random doing is everywhere it. else in the world. But still. we can just handle it for the most part. What? No, no, that's not the case. Yeah, it is. No, in Delling City, we spend forever trying to get rid of the random rule. Are you sure? 100%. Thousand percent. It's going to be like multiple episodes this season of us running around Delling City trying to talk to people that and trying to get rid right. of it. I swear to I swear to like you. Us. That doesn't sound I don't think so. We did what we wanted. Yeah. Excellent. <clears throat> this is great. We're in business. We're in business. We're gonna be making all sorts of card moves. You and I are in business. So now we're trying to win 15 games in Bellum Garden. Yeah. In the place where it counts. Sounds like uh, Tiger Woods was in a car wreck. What? Uh, he's okay, but he broke both of his legs, it sounds like. Oh my god. Uh, and in this little like list of articles about it in CNN, um, you don't get four in before they say, Tiger Woods completed one of sports' greatest comebacks. Can he do it again? Like, I just found out that he was in a car wreck a minute ago. Not even. Within the same screen of my eyes. Can he do it again? Surrounded by these two pictures. Oh my god. <laughs> Have, you know, class isn't even the word. Haley, it's like you and this blanket are the same material. So what are you picking? I don't know. I think we have all these. I've gone first three games in a row. Hmm. I wonder how long I can keep this going. I think we need this spider card. Yeah, I don't think we have that. I think that's a boss too, right? It is, yeah. We don't have elementals. We don't have... I don't like elementals. Yeah, I do too. I just mean it's like, it seems like we're about as simple as can be right now. Except we can't see their cards. That's the only other, uh... I mean, I'm okay, as long as there's just... As long as you get to choose your cards, it's fine. Yeah. Uh, we gotta make sure we win 15 card games. That's why I'm just playing them in cards. Right, and then Jack will be here? Yeah. She's gonna become a seed someday. I'm gonna grow up and kill people for money. Mm -hmm. And this game wants to just not talk about that. No, it thinks it wants to, but it does. Yeah. Yeah, this will be fun. Let's we'll play cards and chill out. Mm -hmm. And eat sandwiches. I don't think we have any cards that have an A on the bottom. Yeah, I, I don't know. That's my main thing is I've been... Our bottom game can be a little bit weak. That's why we fill up the bottom with squalls. Dude, we went first again. We have we put on first every time. Oh, I should go save, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, oh, the ladies are back, finally. I'm gonna play with them real quick. Oh, yeah, play cards with everyone you see if you so feel. Yeah, we're still in the process of completing 15 card games and winning all of them. I mean, it takes quite a while it to do. It takes forever. <laughs> all right, Jack. Where are you at, you cunt? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, yeah, like, we definitely have obviously won 15 card games, but I wonder how many we've won in the school, you know? Well, exactly, yeah. And at this point, I've got to think... I mean, we've got to be getting close. Come on, Jack. Come on. <coughs> uh, Jack. I mean, playing Zell over and over again is fine, right? <laughs> yeah, it should be. I'm going to go play some people on the bridge. boop a doop -a -doo. Hey, we don't have the Iron Giant. Nice. New card. I love that movie. <laughs> that movie is now a card in our pocket. Hey, somebody else went first. How about that? Chimera we have never had, and now it is in our pocket. Man, if we just got rid of random for, like, what we're gonna need with this card quest, that would be amazing. We might need to do it in other places, but I think I'm not like afraid. Like most of the people are in the school though, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I right just mean right. I just mean if there's like a card we can only get from somebody somewhere else, you know. Where's Jack? She Jack. She Jack. 
Are you Jack? 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 I mean, have we won 15 games? Well, I, I figured we were close enough, but now we gotta play more. Do you think those Norgs downstairs are playing? Maybe, I don't know. We just challenged Nita, and he says, I challenge you. Mm -hmm. Do you think he's part of the card club quest and that's what they meant, where it's like, have they challenged you yet? No, I don't think this is it, because the thing I read says, you start the card club quest by playing Jack. Oh, okay. Oh, wow, I'm starving. It's on the way. I know. I am whooping you. I am whooping him. Oh, dude. It was a Perfect whooping. board. Perfect board. We have all of these. Uh-oh, it's stuck somewhere. She can't get it. Get it, Haley. You can do it. Get it. Get the ball. Oh, get the ball. You can do it. You can do it. You can Rob Schneider do it. You can do it all night long. Okay. So you're gonna go out first? Yeah. She thinks she can't do it. We all know she can. Come here. Get it. Get it. There you go. You did it. Good for her. Good for you. Good for you. You got ball. It's not the one I threw. I don't know where. <laughs> I lost. Holland. Holland. I'm gonna load it over here. <laughs> Fries are back at Howlin' Rays. Oh yeah, so we still haven't gotten 15 wins in Ballum Garden yeah, yet. Yeah, I mean, it takes a long time. But we're gonna take a break and eat food. Also, if you were curious, Tiger Woods has not made his big comeback <laughs> yet. I just read that it looks like he's something from the, the sex scandal might be coming. I don't know. Oh, I didn't boy. read too much into oh, it. Oh boy. Just, you know. Well... <laughs> But what, on this next season, we'll see. It's gearing up to be an exciting one for Tiger Woods. The next season of Tiger Woods? Yeah, I mean, he's got this scandal. He's got oh, broken boy. legs. Can he do it? Can he do it? How funny would it be if McDonald's took their fries away? <laughs> and then they were like, fries are back for a limited time. <laughs> Like, that would be the ultimate manipulation of shit. I can't get fries with my burger. That would be like McDonald's being like, you can't come without permission. <laughs> like, when fries are back, they're like, you begged, like, enough to satisfy us. And now fries are back. Like, what? <laughs> Fuck you, McDonald's. They should totally do it. Don't make me suffer for my fries. <laughs> just piss off the whole world just to just to bring it back <laughs> Can you imagine if they took away the fries <laughs> they replaced them with like celery sticks <laughs> <laughs> can't it just happen once yeah it's isn't it funny enough that some ceo somewhere in charge of a business could just start doing some things are funny enough that they should be done like if you just took over mcdonald's and you were like from now on it's all just to fuck yeah. with you your ceo of mcdonald's I think you would gain a day. whole new fan base you know if it's just like mcworld man mcworld yeah make the mcnightmare <laughs> i want to go to the i want to go to the the mccafka the, the like <laughs> I want my burger experience to give me like an existential crisis. <laughs> we were finding most people were just eating the burgers. And they didn't, they, they were yeah, leaving yeah, so yeah, many yeah. of the fries that... Yeah, the employees just are instructed to tell you they've never had French fries <laughs> and they don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> they they don't like, know what they're talking about. They're like, the about. police are showing up because people are getting so angry and the employees are like, we've, we've never, never had, had French, French fries. fries. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I bet it's actually the opposite. I bet they sell way more fries. I'm almost certain food. of it that the I, economics I, I, of that would I, never I, work I, for I, them. That way more people come through ordering just fries. And just like, I think that the volume, yeah, like that's, the volume business is the fries. Like that, you know, in the way that like the soda costs nothing to them and they charge a whole dollar. So I, these are the, whoa. These are the, fr <laughs> the Mario fries. Oh, hi Mario. Uh, what do we do about you? Uh, we dig. Whoa, it's got che cheese, melted cheese under there. 
I got a country style. I mean, that's good. Of course it is. Mm hmm. Yeah, cheese fries with fried chicken are great. He oh, you're so him. cute, Haley. But being cute just isn't enough in this world. I really feel like the pasta salad is an area that could be pushed to new frontiers in the next decade, you know? There hasn't been a lot of innovation in the pasta salad space. You're totally right. Putting all of your money into pasta salad futures. I think it's a good idea. I mean, we recently had we one. We did that have didn't one that was amazing. A crazy place. Where it's was got, that like, from? It's from Wax Paper Company. Right, right. Oh my god. It, it has so like pineapple and fuck. cayenne pepper in yeah. it. Yeah, it's so good. And now that mayonnaise is in vogue again, you mm -hmm. know, nice mayonnaise is. I think that could be the window into artisanal pasta salads. I would get. I would be thrilled about something. <laughs> I love pasta salad. Oh, I'm, not, I'm not saying in a year or even five years, but maybe in seven to ten years there could be a pasta salad themed restaurant in Silver Lake. You know, like that's mainly pasta salad. You might be <laughs> underestimating yourself. That might be coming soon, you think. You think so? I think five years within okay. is a reasonable bet. Okay. That's ambitious of you. I think it'll take a little time to rebranded in the minds of the, the taste Well, they're gonna have all sorts of, like, gluten-free pastas and stupid bullshit. Right. And you do some twist on it that's, like, Thai or Vietnamese somehow. And then when you serve it in that context, then people... Then you can have as much mayonnaise as you mm -hmm. want. Exactly. My guitar case is named Griever. And that's also the name of the lion thing on Squall's keychain. And what does it all mean and why is it important? If you can answer that question, Haley. I shouldn't ask that question, Haley. What? Haley, I can't give you food. I'm not giving you anything. No. What do you... Th I said no. I said no. There's nothing in my hands. There's nothing up his sleeves. Oh, it's time! It's time, Haley. Haley, lick the grease off of me. Oh. <laughs> Haley, bring it over here. I said bring it over here, not drop it and run over here. Okay. So we're done eating and we go back to playing. Mm-hmm. I mean, Jack should be here. We've done 15 in this place, right? I don't know. We played a lot of games today. Yeah, I don't- I haven't been counting. Should've I played three or four with Zell. I played... at least... Um, uh, ten? At least how many? Yeah, I was like, <laughs> uh, the number that gets us to where we need to go? Which ten doesn't Probably. if I did three or four? <laughs> yeah, you need bra, but you gotta have brains too. No, I want a conundrum. <laughs> I'm challenging him. I have to have played a lot of games. Yep. I got one new card. One new card down. So that was two more wins, and still no Jack, so... Oh my god! Stupid. Whatever. And that's where we're gonna break for episode one of this bonus season. Yeah. Uh, we got rid of random, and we played a lot of games of cards. Yeah, Jack should be there next week, but I know <laughs> well, next week we're gonna get really distracted because we go into the classroom and start reading the console and Selfie's diary, and there is so much in this console. Yeah, we, we go deep into this console. Like, this, this, become, this takes a long time to read all this stuff, and there is some hilarious stuff in there. Truly. And then, a little while later next week, mm -hmm. after finishing the whole console read, we find a lot more lore hidden in the menu of the game. Yeah. So we're going to read that, too. Yeah, that was what we teased at the end of the season, is, and is this stuff. We'll start this fucking, this card club quest for real then. Mm-hmm. Well, we've started it. you got to play 15 games. That's the first step. That, 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 you're right. We've started it. But we're going to talk to Jack. Yeah, that'll be like the, the game will know we've started it. Right. Exactly. Um, how should we outro these episodes? Should we just jump to the dessert? Because all these people are already supporting Let's us on Patreon, and we cookie. appreciate them. Yeah, all right. Grab uh, one from the drawer, too. I mean... My 
fortune is success is a journey, not a destination. And my lucky numbers are 8, 17, 16, 56, 53, and 2. Mine is your dearest wish will come true. My lucky numbers are 46, 48, 53, 24, 50, and 44. Mm -hmm. And my word is ginger. My word is red. How do you say it? How do you say ginger? Giang? I, I, I don't know. G-I-A-N-G. Red is Hong Se. So red ginger for dessert? That sounds pretty good. Some Hong Se Jiang? I don't know what my dearest wish is, so this is a tough one. My dearest wish will come true. But yeah. Some... Success is not really a journey. I don't know. I mean, I guess. Mm. It's all pretty intangible. <laughs> See you guys next week. Is it anything? Which? Success. Oh, I don't know. It's nothing. Ha 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 ha.